Hey there, welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm going to show you this job today. So I'm doing a roof clean and treatment on these roof tiles. And I thought it'd be a really great opportunity to talk to you a bit more about what type of methods I prefer to use for roof cleaning. So this is the job today. It's um, a lovely old cottage, really lovely location, in the countryside. Um, and this is the roof. I'm doing a roof moss removal and going to do a biocide treatment as well. So I thought it was a really good opportunity to talk to you about the different ways or different approaches I use for cleaning roofs because obviously I've been doing a lot of pressure washing on roofs just recently. And I use, obviously my pressure washing equipment, I use a lower pressure than normal. So it's quite gentle on the roof tiles. But even so, at certain situations, I feel that the roof is quite delicate. And I don't think the pressure washing approach, I don't think the roof would be up to it if, it's, if, it's, if the tiles are a bit more fragile. So this is the perfect kind of example where these kind of tiles, um, this kind of roof is obviously a bit more delicate. I want to treat it in a slightly different way. I prefer the pressure washing approach and I prefer to use that approach where I can because of the instant result, it gets a fantastic transformation. But there's some roof tiles where you think, oh, this situation is not gonna be quite up to it. So you have to make a call really. So that's what I've done here. Um, the job I'm doing today, I'm just gonna remove as much moss as I can. And in particular, I'm using the scraper here. This is from roofscraper.co.uk. They sent me these scrapers to give them a try. In particular, they come with a number of different wire brushes. They do a number of different grade wire brushes. This is quite a heavy duty grade wire brush. So the difficulty with this roof, obviously, even when it comes to scraping it, all the tiles are a little bit sort of higgledy-piggledy. There's different bits sticking out. So even to, to use a flat scraper, um, I'd be a bit nervous about damaging some of the tiles. So this wire brush method seems to be the best approach. So I'm going to use this wire brush uh, to remove the worst of the moss and then I'm going to give it a chemical treatment. So let's see how we get on.
Right, here we go. Set up, ready to apply the biocide to the roof. Uh, the roof scraper was really great, actually. The wire brush seemed to be just the right thing for this roof. It was delicate enough, gentle enough on the tiles, but the wire brush seemed to get rid of the loose moss really well. So I was really pleased with that. I don't know if you could see there, but then when I was working and when I was filming, uh, it started to drizzle slightly and the moss was getting a bit sticky as I was trying to remove it but then it soon stopped again and dried out. So I went back over it a couple of times and, and managed to remove a bit more. So sometimes that can happen if it's damp, uh, the job can be a bit more difficult, but it's nice and sunny now. So it's perfect for applying the biocide. I'm using the GK Pro biocide today, along with the pump box from Window Cleaning Warehouse. Really handy. I've mixed up the biocide ready to go. The recommended dose is one to 25 so that's one liter of chemical in a 25 liter barrel now there is a theory that says the less um, dirt the less biofilm on the roof that you won't need such a strong mix so that's why usually if i've pressure washed the roof and i've removed most of the dirt in theory you don't need such a strong mix of biocide because there's less there's less organic matter to react, so you need less chemical. Uh, in this situation here, I've only removed the, the loose moss, so there's a lot more organic matter left on the roof. So the recommended dose for a roof is one to 25. There are other variables as well that can affect the strength that you actually need, the weather conditions, the temperature, things like that. But the manufacturers always put a set recommended dose just to make things easier really, because otherwise it can get a bit complicated. So anyway, for this roof, I'm using a one to 25 mix, one liter in 25 liters of water. Uh, I use the pump on about 70 or 80 uh, on the controller here, and it goes through my water-fed pole brush. We'll apply a nice thorough solution on the roof, and uh, that's gonna kill off any organic growth, any moss that might be left between the cracks of the tiles, things like that. So the roof's gonna improve over time and um, it also acts as a preventative. So it helps keep it clean uh, for longer as well. So it's really great stuff. I always do it in line with a, a roof clean, whether I'm pressure washing it or scraping, whatever I'm doing, I always like to do a biocide treatment afterwards. It provides a nice thorough service for the customer as well got my safety gear let's crack on So that's it, that's the roof all done, chemical treatment's all done. Obviously I've only shown you kind of a couple of aspects of the job. So the roof is gonna gradually improve over the next few months. The chemical will react with the organic growth and the color may change slightly over the first couple of days, but then the next three to six months, even up to a year, the, the roof is gonna gradually improve in color. It will gradually become more red as that um, algae all weathers away um, now it's been killed off so it's a really great way to deal with this roof it's a bit more delicate the scraping method and then the chemical treatment I have to pop back in a couple of months and just see 
see if I can compare the difference, get some photos. The GK Pro as well is really fantastic. I've been using it on a few jobs now and uh, it comes up really foamy, really thick. Goes a long way as well. I'm really noticing that compared to the product I used to use. So you get a really nice thorough coat, really nice and quickly. And uh, yeah, it lasts really well. So, so really pleased with the GK Pro. That's been fantastic. So thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Of course, if you go directly to my channel, click on my face in the little circle below, that'll take you directly to my channel. There's a whole roof cleaning playlist. If you go to the playlists, you can find the roof cleaning playlist there. Tons more videos like this. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you guys again very soon. Take care.